growth in China will remain sluggish at around 6.5% in 2017, but some recovery may happen as investments stabilize. Chinese leader Xi Jinping has reportedly mentioned in early 2016 that China's growth pattern will be L-shaped. Hence, we should not expect the acceleration of growth due to stimulus, nor should we expect a sharp decline. Chinese companies continue to look overseas. Approximately 159 billion of deals have been done up to this point in 2016. Chinese companies move out of the shores of China into different markets as part of their business expansion. They also acquire companies for their technical know-how, business capabilities and products so that they can bring it back to their domestic markets in China. We expect China's capital markets to be opened up further. China's bond markets will be increasingly open to foreign investors as part of the financial markets liberalization. In addition to the Shanghai Hong Kong Stock Connect, which was started in November 2014, we expect the Shenzhen Hong Kong Stock Connect to be launched in December 2016. This will give foreign investors greater access to both the Shanghai and Shenzhen A share market. We also expect a shares to be included in the MSCI index going forward. And this will increase the foreign investors' participation in China's capital markets. Businesses investing in China should fully leverage on the various schemes under the free trade zone. Singapore businesses should leverage on the Chongqing Connectivity Initiative for further business opportunities. On top of that, companies should also ride on China's extensive e-commerce infrastructure to distribute their products into China. Overall, we remain optimistic about China's long-term prospects as the country makes the necessary adjustments and reforms to stabilize the economy.